I want to show you how to include a little icon or a little image in your page by embedding it using Base64. This sounds a lot more complicated than it is, and it actually works in a lot of browsers. Uh, if you look at this little button here, you're going to see I've got a little disk icon right there. Now, we can do this easily using CSS. We can put an image in there and link to it as a background image, and that's great. But a lot of times on, on sites, I'll have a bunch of these things, and I don't want to have to go out and you know go back to the server 50 times. So a lot of times people will use what's called a sprite sheet, which means they'll take a bunch of icons and stick it in one big image and then just kind of move it around and do different things like that. But another way is to embed the image data. So here's what we can do. So if I have, let's say I've got this, I've actually got a disk image. Now I know you can, it's white, okay? <laughs> I know. If you save that image that you're working on as let's say a ping or a JPEG or a GIF, it doesn't really matter. And we could just take that, upload it to our server and link to it as a background image. Or we can do this. If I go out to a website, there's 50 million websites where you can find one of these. But if you find yourself a Base64 image encoder, and here's one website, base64-image.de. Another one is jpalora.com. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Base64 encoder. You can always pause the video, you guys, to get these URLs, obviously. And you just drop the file there. And another one that I use a lot that I actually got from CSS Tricks is uh, websemantics.co.uk their online tool converter. If you take the ping, JPEG, or GIF you work with, and I browse to put it in there. Let me say, okay, browse. I go grab it, there it is right there, a little disk, I know it's white, you can't see it. But it's transparent, that's the best part about it. Open it up, I'll convert it. All these sites work pretty similarly. And then what they do is it's actually using data URI. So it's going in and saying, okay, if you wanna use it as an image tag, just copy this and put it in your page, and it's embedded in the image. So there's no link. If you want to use it as a background image, just grab this code. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the background image and repeat. So I'll just copy it. Go back over to my code, my page, and I've already got one here that I was, that's why I was showing you it. But what I'm going to do is just in my original style, so I've got a link that's called download, I'll just paste it in there. Now, before, without this, let me show you. Go back, refresh. There's no image, okay? But if I paste it in there, got the data you can see right there. It's putting it in as a ping. It's telling you it's originally a ping. It's now base64. There's the data. I got to get rid of this extra bracket or brace right there. There we go. Now what I can do is go out, refresh, take a look at it, and there it is. Nice. Now, I'm using a transition if you look, sorry to bounce back and forth, but I'm actually using a transition to get it to transition. So all I do is put the background image in there, position it, put it somewhere, like off or outside the actual button area, put a transition in there, and then say when you hover, I want you to just change the background position right there. Now this actually isn't supposed to be there, so that's fine. But there it is right there. You can see background position just gets changed, and that's it. Pretty cool. Now, uh, just really quick, if you want to, if you are concerned about browser use, um, what we can do is we can actually go into Can I Use, and you're going to see um, Base64 encode of GIFs, etc. Can I Use is a great website that allows you to check things out. So I'll go to Can I Use, and if I take a look in here, you'll see right there I can just type in data and start to go to URI, and hopefully it's in here. Data said data, data URIs. Here we go. You're going to see that we have a lot of a lot of things that actually show it. And if I go to all versions, you'll see 8, 9, 10, and 11 of IE actually do support it mostly. It's a little bit limited in 8, but it should work. So there we go. That's working with really cool little data URI to add your image using Base64.